Hello, my name is Miss Pritchett and today I'm going to read you a book called Rosie Revere Engineer. Have you ever felt like wanting to give up on yourself? Well, Rosie has felt that way and today we're going to find out what she does to overcome that. Rosie Revere Engineer. This is the story of Rosie Revere who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. But when no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer stash. And late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built in her hideaway under the eaves. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. When Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair swooping over one eye and she made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser and helium pants. The uncle she loved most was zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head from parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps the pythons away. Look at that invention. And when it was finished, young Rosie was proud, but Fred slapped his knee and chuckled out loud. He laughed till he wheezed and his eyes filled with tears to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed, and dismayed. She looked at the cheese hat and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, I truly do. But Rosie Revere knew that could not be true. She stuck that cheese hat on the back of the shelf and after a day, kept her dreams to herself. She's feeling quite discouraged. Have you ever felt that way? And that's how it went until one autumn day, her oldest relation showed up for a stay. Her great, great aunt Rose was a true dynamo who worked building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of the things she had done and the goals she had checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile and she looked to the sky. The only thrill left on my list is to fly. But time never lingers as long as it seems. I'll chalk that up to an old lady's dreams. That night as Rosie lay wide awake in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? She looked in the cheese hat and said, no, not I. But questions are tricky and some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake all through the night. So when dawn approached, the red streaks lit the sky. Young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked and she worked till the day was half gone, then hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see the ridiculous flop it may turn out to be. Look at that invention. Wow, strapped into the cockpit, she flipped on the switch. The hello cheese copter sputtered and twitched. It floated a moment and whirled round and round, then froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Oh no. Then Rosie heard laughter and turned around to see the old woman laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed and her eyes filled with tears to all the horror of Rosie Revere, who thought, oh no, never, not again, will I try to build something that sputters or spins or build with a lever, a switch or a gear, and never will I be a great engineer. She's feeling pretty down on herself. She turned round to leave, but then great Great Aunt Rose grabbed hold of young Rosie and pulled her in close and hugged her and kissed her and started to cry. You did it! Hooray! It's the 
perfect first try. The great flop is over. It's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled, embarrassed, perplexed. I failed, said dear Rosie. I just made something out of trash. Didn't you see it? The cheese copter crashed. Yes, said her great aunt. It crashed. That is true. But first, it did just what it needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. So she did achieve her goal of making it fly. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled as her aunt as it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but this was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. So she's learning an important lesson to never give up on your dreams. They worked till the sun sneaked away to its bed. Aunt Rose tied her headscarf around Rosie's head and sent her to sleep with a smile ear to ear to dream the bold dreams of a great engineer. And that, I believe, is the end almost. Here we go. At Blue River Creek, all the kids in grade two build gizmos and gadgets and doohickeys too. With perfect failure, they all stand and cheer, but none quite as proudly as Rosie Revere. The end. So two questions I have for you after reading this story. Number one, who is a trusted adult that you can talk to when you're feeling down or discouraged? Think about that one. And my second question, when you feel like giving up, what's something you can say to yourself to keep yourself going? What did Rosie have to learn? She learned to not quit and to learn from her mistakes and fail forward. I challenge you all to do the same. Have a great day.